Good evening. Welcome to Conklin. A little later than build. No apologies. That's We're just being consistent. Yeah, it's been one of those <laughs> days, isn't it? Okay, let's begin, shall we? The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who, who made, made heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. So we bring to mind the day and all that it's been. And we say together, Most, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from tears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The psalm set for this evening is Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, Lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and, and shall be forever. Amen. Isaiah 30, verse 15 Thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be saved, in quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into, into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I commend my, my spirit. spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So we bring our intercessions, our thanksgivings, thoughts, the challenges, the joys and the failings. Father, today as we focus on St Alban, the first Christian martyr in this country, we pray for our brothers and sisters around the world mm. who suffer persecution for your name's sake, those whose lives are made more difficult, those who may be imprisoned, even tortured, those who may even face death because they claim your name. And they worship you. Lord, forgive us for those times when we shrink back, when we fail to stand for you, when we fail to declare ourselves as yours by our words or our deeds. Give us the strength and the courage to always be known as yours, to always witness to who you are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And Father, we lift to you the people and places that are on our hearts and in our thoughts tonight. Yes. Father, we pray for those we know who are shielded for those who've been kept within their own homes for so long now. And as the news comes tonight that on the 1st of August, shielding will stop. Father, we pray for those that have been shut in for so long, that as they come back into the world and engage, they will do so with peace in their hearts, with confidence in their step, and Lord, with safety mm -hmm. in the way that we behave. Father, we pray tonight for those who have been contained for so long, for our family, friends and church members. And Lord, we pray that this news will be a boost to them, will open the doors of their hearts, their homes and their hearts. Yes. Be with them tonight, we pray. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer.
We lift to you tonight, Father, the children of our nation, the children of the world whose schooling has been so drastically changed. Yes, Lord. As Germany and France bring their children back, the children in this country will be waiting for grades determined not by their educational performance in an exam but by the estimates and the gauging of teachers mm. on not just how good they were but how well they've acted in school and Lord for some of those who were a pain like I was the exam gives them a hope that their behavior perhaps dashes that foe so father for those children who have grades on the way that may change their lives. Father, I thank you that nothing concrete. is set in concrete. For those who might despair, may you concrete. bring them hope. For those who may find their choices changed, concrete. may the path be found to lead them where they need and want to be. Yes. And as the GCSEs and A-levels are now billed as happening next year in late summer rather than in the May-June periods. Father, we pray for teachers, mm. for that which affects their charges, their pupils also affects them. Mm. So we pray for them and their households tonight also. Yes. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, as we come to the end of the day, we prepare ourselves for sleep. Mm. We thank you that we can go to our beds in comfort with full stomachs. With good health, relatively. the knowledge that we are loved and cared for. Lord, we pray tonight for all those who don't share those blessings. Mm. For the homeless, for the refugees, for those whose homes have been destroyed by conflict and fighting. For those who go to bed, to bed hungry. For those who go to bed frightened, not knowing what the night may bring. Lord, we pray that you will be close to all those who are vulnerable. Be their shelter and be their shield. Lord, in your mercy, hear Your our prayer. prayer. And Father, as Philip does his paperwork ready for his surgery, May this be the pain before the joy. May this be the, the challenge before the blessing. Yes. And Father, we pray for all those who are waiting or heading towards surgery and things in hospital. We pray for those who are waiting for their treatment, their diagnosis. 
and the Serakuhi. But as we slowly emerge from this lockdown, that the health service would change its focus and would clear their decks of all those with needs. And in Philip's case, with knees. <laughs> Father, we pray for all those tonight who work in the health service. We pray for those student nurses who will find themselves in days few back in the training and away from the front line. Father, we thank you for all who have changed their lives, who've acted courageously, who put themselves at risk for the sake of others. Yes, Lord. May they know your blessing and protection this night and yes, always. Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And Father, I add a prayer for those who are home tonight with their loved yeah. ones working away. And they know your presence, your protection, yeah. your comfort and your sleep. Yes, Lord. Be with them tonight, Lord. Mm. Give rest. Touch them in special ways. Yes, Father. By the presence of your spirit and the light of your love. Yes, Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And Lord, for those who are adjusting to life without a loved one, for those whose bed is empty, who see empty chairs, mm. Lord, be close to them and comfort them this night. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. Eternal Father, when the gospel of Christ first came to our land, you gloriously confirmed the faith of Auburn by making him the first to win a martyr's crown. Grant that, following his example in the fellowship of the saints, we may worship you, the living God, and give true witness to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. So we pray together the prayer that our Lord gave us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the, For the night, night is at hand, and, and the day, day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so, so do, do we look to you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Amen. So thank you for being with us. May you sleep well, may you wake refreshed and may tomorrow a day which promises to be warm, sunny and in hopefully enjoyable. May you be blessed 
in it and all that you do tomorrow may you find blessings good night bless you good night bye sleep well